So my name is Joseph Onoja, and I am the Director General CEO of the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, the Bell Life Partner in Nigeria. At this critical moment, why is the CBD COP15 Summit so important? And especially, why is it important in your country, Nigeria? Yeah, so the CBD is important because we are at a stage where if you compare the CBD with the Paris Agreement of the UNFCCC, so we are at that um, crossroad as well for the CBD. And we are at a position where we can take advantage and make sure uh, that whatever global agreement we are going to reach will help developing countries uh, to be able to protect the biodiversity that we so much have now. And uh, we are doing it for everybody in the world, not just for Africa. And that's why it's very important. And Nigeria as a major um, influence in the, in the African bloc, uh, it's important for us also to get involved in that process and to ensure that our voice is, our voice is heard in these uh, regards. What would success so, um, apart from the agreement that is going to be, I mean, apart from the uh, global biodiversity framework that is going to be agreed upon, uh, we need to also look at the resource mobilization point of uh, part of it uh, because that is quite important. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, the, the, the African continent has been doing it for the world, and the developed world needs to put uh, their money where their mouth is, and especially they need to support Africa uh, because if you look at it, um, they use some of uh, biodiversity to develop for themselves. So an Africa cannot use the same uh, resources that we have to develop ourselves. And that is where uh, the, the developed world needs to come to the aid of Africa. And if you look at Africa is still supporting the developed world, because if you look at um, uh, the food supply, um, which um, Africa bears the brunt, uh, for the developed world to have their food supply in terms of um, palm oil and so on, you find that that has the biodiversity consequences in Africa. And that is why uh, the resource mobilization for Africans or uh, the African continent uh, to continue to play its role as uh, the, the, the guardian of biodiversity for the world is very important. And that's why we need those resources uh, to come. So apart from agreeing for the global biodiversity framework, we also need uh, the resources to be mobilized for that to happen. Climate change and biodiversity loss are two sides of the same coin and um, I think uh, the, the earlier we start looking at it from that uh, point of view is better for us and that is why uh, the issue of nature-based solution to climate change, um, uh, mitigating climate change is very important and uh, we, as we continue to ensure that we have our biodiversity continuing in that direction we also help in ensuring that climate change mitigation ensures. When you look at um, uh, deforestation, for instance, uh, that is, you can consider that as biodiversity loss. Uh, but if you look at it, it's also contributing to what causes climate change. So you can see that they are both uh, related. And, it, and it's, it's, so you can see the connection. Uh, for the UNFCCC, it's time for action. It's happening in African continent, so it's time for action. And for the CBD COP, it's also kind of time for action because we need to agree on the GBF and also we need to agree on resource mobilization. And so if you look at both of them, are kind of saying the same thing. Yeah.